demoing it and then filling it in. I never thought they were going to leave an open hazard where people could fall down into the hole. I talked about surcharge on another video with you guys when we dealt, when we dealt with the, uh, the side wall. Um, the side wall here. And in fact, this is why I thought they left the pool in for, to, to brace this corner. I talked to you about how awesome there's no cracks here and we see them loading this and there's nothing going on here. Now, he's stating that the wall might fall over. Well, isn't that amazing? So then he should look at all these walls that might fall over um, as far as all the parking lots or you're going to say the weight of the structures holding the wall down keeping it from folding in. Well, that works two ways. That also creates a, a, a heavy moment in there, doesn't it? Where it would want to buckle in. So you can't have a cake in 82. You can't say the building's being held up by the outside walls, the weight buys. Oh, wait a minute. There are no outside walls here. Right, right. This was a pool deck. Oh, right. And these walls are still in place even after they'd used an explosion on it. And they demoed it. And they went at it with this. Oh, right, right. So now the wall all of a sudden is just in imminent danger of, uh, of falling down. It's a constructive nuisance. It's a hazard. Um, the, the edges here where they tore this apart, it, it, you know, this is not good. But I, I think this walkway was, was nil, uh, killed off anyway, wasn't it? And all this back here? Isn't this already been killed off where you're not going to allow people to come? Where you're not going to allow people to come there? Side. The side is practically um, empty right now. After So I'm kind of confused about the hazard. There I, is a I thought they were always taking it down. So he's making it now. He's obviously speaking for the mayor, saying we need to proceed to remove the foundation, which we thought they were going to do anyway, weren't they? Weren't they still going to be part of their exploratory NIST and everything else? So NIST is not interested in the foundation? Isn't that amazing? So if, you, if he's bitching and moaning now, and NIST is, that means NIST is gone, and so NIST has no more investigation they're going to do? I thought they were going to break out the lasers and start... Figuring out column heights and heads and all that stuff, and take this thing apart like a uh, archaeological dig to determine determine the footers. Now, crop, Papa Smurf has decided now that we just need to get rid of this thing. But a second ago, he was begging for core samples. So shouldn't Papa Smurf, Smurf be down there doing his core samples and exposing the footers and all that? So yeah, I'm I'm upset that 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 this guy is just leading the people on some circus danger to Collins Avenue possibly collapsing because of what's left of the Champlain Tower South site. As it sits today? Yes, sir. Take a look at these photos. So now we switch the narrative the to, to we need to get the walls down. What happened to the narrative, I need to get my core samples now, get to the base. I need that undisturbed. I need to get there. Well, you've got a beautiful site now. I would think he'd be begging, biting at the bit to do it. Things like this act as a uh, button to help hold this wall down. The sidewall could be an indicator of whether you got movement, whether this concrete pad was poured last, which would then stop this from shifting in, would be it. You would also look at the crack, you know, if it's got any cracks in the walls or not. Obviously, over here, this is a hazard. Someone comes over here, they could fall 9, 10 feet. So I, I never thought that this was going to be open up for, for pedestrian traffic right there to come, you know, gaping. Uh, throwing down coins or whatever it may be. I thought this was still a what? A crime scene. So now all of a sudden, where's this crime scene action going on? I'm, 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 I'm killing myself here. Tower South collapse site. And then take a look at the walls of concern. This I thought they left there to brace that corner because it was probably integral with that to some degree. But you remember, it's, uh, it's uh, a, a pool, pool space here. And I kept thinking, wow, are they going to turn this into a, a flatness out, turn this into a pool, public pool? This is interesting. But I see the the uh, police up here, so clearly they're not allowing people to, to, to navigate over to this point. So why are they jumping the gun now? They, because they, they want to now say, we need to remove it. The narrative is, is we need to remove this fully. That's where this narrative is going. No more does Papa Smurf need to get access to here and start digging for, for uh, foundation failure. Papa Smurf now says, oh, we need to get rid of, get rid of this. Stern, they are the foundational walls of the building. Basically, you've got a wall that could fall. Hold on, back that up. Those are not the foundational walls of the building. 
let's make that clear. This thing had parking garages around the entire edges of it, of this patio. So this guy is, you look, he's a professional liar anyway. And, I, and so I like to curse. So curse, 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 curse. So um, the, uh, um, it was not a, a structural, they're not, um, they, they held up a parking garage and the, uh, the planter area and things like that. But they did not hold up the building. This building was held up on those piers and columns. So uh, this is what, uh, remember one of the seven dwarfs, what would this be? Lily? Lily? Lilot? Which one was called Lilot? Fall down. You need to brace it. Now you can either brace it with rods and steel, or you can put a bunch of dirt up against it. A structural engineer for 63 years, Alan Kilsheimer was hired by the town of Surfside to determine a cause for the tragedy that has claimed 96 lives. He has a vast experience. If I see something that affects the life safety, potential life safety of the public, I have to notify the, the authorities properly. And so if that was the case, he had to notify the authorities promptly, it's life safety. So would he not, would he not, um go back into that building and start figuring out how to dig in there because it would be flooding. Clearly, this building should have flooded already with high tides. It should have flooded. Clearly, we should have some hole in that floor somewhere, right? I don't see any pumps working there. So where are the pumps? So let's do some extrapolation here. Well, no seawater has so far flooded this out. You guys want to say seawater. It was a fireman, I mean, the uh, uh, construction demo crew using regular city water to keep the, uh, as I understand it, the... Uh, the water down inside there, inside the uh, the dust down. Um, so then they pumped it out and got rid of it. Now, isn't it amazing? Papa Smurf no longer needs access to the foundation. That's what I did. He is now saying that what is left of the site is a concern. He writes in a letter. Potential danger, potential dangers. Everything's potential danger. Situation at the site where the wall is in danger of collapse. All right, so is it? He's never not even been on, on, on the site, and he's speculating. Hell, he's wor he, heck, he's worse than my video, right? Where, uh, where, um, um, curse, curse, curse. Where, uh, the, uh, where, uh, the wall is in danger of collapse. What data does he say that it's in danger of collapse? Where, where what does he have that? He's essentially acting as a bathtub. Oh, wait a minute. Who already mentioned that bathtub in the last video? Thank you. But which is which is it was not designed to be. Well, it becomes a swimming pool bathtub and walls. Pascal tells you that the water could help hold that from falling in. The water could actually help support that wall, the wall system. So I'm not too sure about that. But people are going to drown in it. They're going to swim in it. No, of course not. So I'm confused here. It's supposed to be a hole there somewhere that it goes in and out with the with the tide. Papa Smurf is confusing me with his data. Letter to the Surfside town manager, quote, we believe there is a potentially dangerous situation at the site where the wall is in danger of collapse. It is essentially acting as a bathtub, which it was not designed to be, end quote. There seems to be a lot of moving pieces here. We... It's funny. Ah. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, that, 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 that tugged his... That tugged his, his laughing bone. Right? They're Literally and figuratively, right? Kilsheimer. Literally and figuratively. When the exterior ground becomes saturated with rainwater, wait a minute, didn't he not say it's supposed to be high tide? The situation becomes more severe when roadway surcharge, that is emergency vehicles, trucks, I talked about vibration with you guys on vehicles, on a couple of things, and pedestrians are adjacent to the walls, mainly on 89th Street and Clylands. Okay. So, uh, real quickly, surcharge. We went over this in other videos, but surcharge. Um, so, give me this one. Uh, let's go with red. So, we have red here. That's the, that's the uh, street. All right, you know I've got to do a car for you. So, there, there's, there's the car. And here, it's a license plate back here. So the car goes straight away from us. It's going away from us, right? And well, it goes it goes away from us. Direction of travel is that is that way. 
And here's that. Here's the uh, bathtub area. Right there. So the cars are driving there. Now, a surcharge is when you're building like a foundation, uh, say you're building a, uh, a wall, a uh, retaining wall. And that's basically what this is at this point, a retaining wall, right? But it was always a retaining wall. It's not like it's new. There's the cars up here. So let's just move that out of the way. That's the car over here now, right? And it's still going away from us. It's not going into the, it's not going into the, the hole here. So the loads of the car, the vibration and all, they, 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 uh, they do, 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 down here. That's the, the, the frequency. And they vibrate this wall. But they've been vibrating that wall for a million years. And what he's saying by extrapolation is that the floor, the floor of the garage by extrapolation of the first, this would be the first floor, that's the basement floor, was actually holding in. Now he's saying it was holding in this top wall from falling in with the cars and all, because the building didn't start to over here. And this was part, in fact, there were more cars. You could, you could park up here, right? Remember, you could park up here. And so this was parking area. And this would, this floor system went across. So he's now implying that the, that the, looking at it from this view, looking down, that's the car. So the cars are down here, right? They're driving down the road this way. The cars are driving down the road this way. He's now implying that the, Cars vibration will knock the wall down. Yet we had parked cars. We had parked cars already over here and over here lined up. Over here. So what would have stopped it is let's do a little box. So little box. So we had these columns inside here, right? So we can copy that. So duplicate. We had the columns of the structure. Oops, sorry. We had the columns of the structure with the deck all around it. Let's just throw them in there like that, right? So, um, with the deck all around it. Let's just do that. So he's now implying that, ah, shit, whatever. The columns. The, co the deck actually helped hold these walls from falling in. That's what he's implying through implication. I'm just calling BS on the whole, on this whole thing about about that because initially he needed to get hold of core samples. If you remember, he needed to get down here, dig down here, and investigate and do you know super work and all that. Now he's talking about it's a hazard, which means you're gonna fill it in, or or just or delete delete the walls. And now just go ahead and demo demo the whole thing because now the base will be a hazard because it's gonna still hold water there. And you got to get rid of it also. So this is what this is what this is where this is going. He's no longer looking for the cause that he needed so critically to get to the bottom, as you remember in the other videos on on this channel, that he needed to get to the bottom. Now all of a sudden he needs nothing more but to get rid of this thing. That's just that's just craziness. Um, that's craziness. Let's finish it off. His letter continues, quote, When the exterior ground becomes saturated with rainwater, the situation becomes more severe. When roadways... Look, it had a pump in it. That's what would matter. Where was the, where's the water going? The ground's always was saturated. No more extra saturation in there. And it would be the interior ground that would be a, of a different matter. But that depends on how much water it was getting, all, how much water was going in there already, and how much it was pumping out. Of course, it's going to be more water at this point that they would have to pump out uh, for hazard, just for safety hazard, uh, like you know, drowning and things like that. You just you just got to pump that stuff out. So you you would want to uh, you do want to pump the you know sure. you, you do want to kind of accelerate the process of getting rid of this the wall system, the bathtub as I called it in the previous video, um, that you do want to get rid of it. But I, what happened, my point is, what happened to his investigation? What happened to his investigation? Now, as far as adding, what do you add into it? Well, it would be what's naturally around there. It would seem like it would be beach sand. Again, do you leave the concrete at the base or not? I guess for future court order, court cases, you sure could leave it in and cap it, bring, it, bring, it, bring the sand right up to it. Um, let me think about that. There's a lot of water still that would want to still, still go in there, and it would percolate down to the bottom. 
Now you're gonna have to put holes in the floor, take to, uh, for that water to go through the floor back into the earth. But will you cause too much pressure somewhere else? No, no, no. Whatever. Okay, here it is. So whatever's around Merge. at Merge whatever's around trucks, at that level at nine, and at nine foot down. So whatever's nine foot down, typically around that area. So if it's soil. You need to take that out, go back with the soil up to whatever point where it changes the beach sand or whatever it may be. But you want the, you want the water to naturally saturate back into there. Remember, water runoff, hell, if Miami's worried about water runoff, then it should be something that, that, uh, that should allow that surface to take water now and percolate through the ground. Pedestrians are adjacent percolate. to the wall, mainly on 89th Street and Collins Avenue. The overstress is increased even more substantially. If the wall fails in the above situation, it would most probably behave in a blowout mode for a substantial extent of the length. All right. So you'd have to find a weak wall that for this blowout mode for this to happen. And blowout is not going to happen. It's got rebar inside that wall. It's not going to happen. Not today. No way. No way. Now, you would have to have... I. I well, you let's see. You'd have to have a building collapse on it. Oh no, that wouldn't do it. That wouldn't do it at all. Um, well, hell, I can't think. Of, heck, I can't think of a better example than a building falling on it, which would put people inside the open hole, as well as those walking or driving by the site when the roadways reopen, which we understand is imminent, at substantial risk. End quote. It's imminent. Of course, it's imminent. They're not going to keep the road closed forever. So if traffic would reopen and this wouldn't be fixed. So we're doing hypotheticals. All right, so if we leave this hole open and we just open the traffic up, um, what will happen? Well, people are going to go down in there and take photographs. People are going to do That's one thing. Uh, maybe someone will go by the edge and fall let fall down so that's a constructive nuisance. It's a hazard and a place to be sued. Um, the city left the hazard there, so that would be a hazard. It would fill up with water, and that could be a drowning hazard. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, and you got a swimming pool here. That would be a hazard. And I was walking down Collins Avenue on 88th Street. Would I be in danger? If this one wasn't fixed and the street was totally open and it, the traffic wasn't limited and you were walking on the sidewalk, I'd go to the other side of the street. Now, now you know I talk about being a crackhead. So, that's crackhead stuff. They dropped the building on it. They have heavy equipment around there right now, already loading it, left and right, heavy equipment running in and out. It's already been tested. You know, one of the ways they test the, the roadway guys on the base is sometimes it's not with all the fancy machinery you, it, you may think. Sometimes they simply get a full loaded triaxle with dirt, and the inspector will stand there and watch that triaxle go in there, and he doesn't want to see an impression uh, displacement of the soil too much. And that's the same thing with here. You're driving at a triaxle, which we wouldn't have a typical around here, and we would look and you would see how much it would depress. But they've already done that. They've already put heavy equipment, you know, all around the structure, all around here. Heck, they dropped the building on it. The worst part is over here, and it's still not blowing out. You still need, you still, this rebar is still there. There's still some rebar there. There's a lot of cover here. Erosion could happen here and take over time, but... Ultimately, yes, I think you should take it away pretty fast, but, <coughs> excuse me, time to drink, um, what's this one? Nothing. That's just a natural salsa, lemon, li a lime, rather. Um, so again, what happened to Papa Smurf's thing that he said he needed access to the foundation to do his investigation? So it's a, it's a 180, it's just trash, you're being, you're being fed, you're, feeding, you're treating like, you know how you grow a mushroom? You put it in the dark, in one of those dark houses, and then you feed it manure. So how do you grow a mushroom? You put it in the dark and you feed it S-H-I-T. Put it in the dark and you do that. So they're treating us like mushrooms. They're treating you guys like mushrooms because I don't go for that crap, this, 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 this stuff. All right, bye.